Well, here come Desmo, still being a creeper to Nicole. What I'm gathering for this, Nicole got a twin that looked like her, and him and her and Desmo must have had a thing going on. And now he's stuck on the call now. Look like he better stalk her everywhere she go. That's what I'm assuming. But I'm pretty sure he know Nicole's sister and they might have had a little thing. That little bastard. I won't put nothing past him. Yep, being still a fucking nut up here kissing Abigail. Chad calls. He tell her, oh, so you gonna leave me again for Chad? Abigail showed him a sign of faith by hitting the phone, cutting it off. Mm -hmm. He must have never mind. I'm going to be that nasty. But, yep, he's still delusional and crazy. And Abigail, this little plan you got going on, hun, I hope you got some protection somewhere. A gun to shoot the fuck out of his ass. But I'm pretty sure he's going to try to burn your ass down into the mayor Mitchell like he did that damn, um... Out there to the uh, the cabin. Don't think he won't try to bring you in, Chad, now and again. Probably try to take your son, because he's probably still the illusion of thinking he still is. Oh, look, he's talking with some sense. He's he talking with some sense now. Real dogs and ever didn't love him. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could have told you that, homeboy. They don't take no rocket science to figure that out. And you ought to know Abigail wasn't faithful anyway. Well, in your mind, I guess you thought so. Not the Miss Union went and put a tattoo on your damn name, talking about Abby. Mm -hmm. Ben, how many pills did you skip home, Buck? I'm pretty sure you missed about two or three. You need to go back and take them pills again and think again. Think harder. Ben, Ben, let me let you in on a little secret, homie. No Chad ain't beat the shit out of her. No Chad don't treat her like shit. This is the setup, you dumbass. And for you to ask this woman that shit, did Chad hit her? Oh, no, that's you. you that, no, <laughs> that is all you, you little weak man. That ain't none of Chad. Chad don't hit women. Well, we can't say that about you. Because we know you are losing and pathetic. You don't want to hit women. Chad don't hit women. And you don't see this con she, she feeding you being. That see that she playing your dumb ass. You need whatever happened to you. How might do he hit you? No, buddy. That's all you. You didn't hit Abigail. You hit Abigail more than once, motherfucker. So what the fuck you doing asking her her other man hitting her? Chad can be a lot of things. We all call him a lot of damn things. But one thing we can say about him, he don't hit no woman. But too bad we can't say that about your pathetic ass. And you gonna have a nerve to go ask this girl this. You got a lot of damn nerves, Ben. I I don't think your brain unscrambled, Jay. You need to go back and get your brain unscrambled but after that dumb ass question. And then you ain't already gonna get mad. Whatever. You need to keep punch yourself in the face. That's what you need to do. You know what? This story sounds too damn convincing, and this dumbass might ask you to believe this bullshit. Abigail <laughs> smelling not to him. Y'all know he ain't that bright in the hell. With, 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 without the soccer, with, without the being in the crazy house. So I'm pretty sure he finna believe this story. Or sooner or later, Chad finna come and finna bust this shit up. Oh, son finna happen. This finna go down. Cause pretty soon he finna find out what the fraud she really is. A gone head Abigail, Abigail, then stab the bitch with the scissors. Gone head Abigail, let me let you in on a little secret, little girl. You don't stab nobody in their damn shoulder. You should have strapped his ass in the fucking neck where you can kill him. Better yet, the chest, the neck or the chest, girl, the neck or the chest, them instant. You gonna stab him in the shoulders. No. Abigail, honey, aim higher. Girl, you could have killed him. Now he finna beat the shit out of you now, I'm assuming. 
So this dumbass stabbed the man in the arm with the shoulder, and the shoulder with the scissors. He pushed her out. She hit his ass with the damn head with the lamp, and he laid up on the damn bed. This dummy gets sit there, knowing that motherfucker fit to wake up in two seconds. Do not pay answering the phone, having a full fucking blown conversation with this motherfucker. Besides finishing him on off. <coughs> Abigail, you never have been the brightest bulb in the ball. So, while I'm not surprised, this fool fit to attack the shit out of you as soon as he get the chance. So, besides Abigail telling him, Chad being in the house, I did knock the shit out of him. You making a damn shopping lip and touching him, to, um, tying him up to the bed. So what you gonna do? Torture his ass like he did you? Abigail, see, I try to be on your side, but you make it too hard for me. You make it so hard and so easy to not like you. Well, what? Now, you know this man is a hothead. Man, like he can't easily snap them things apart and get there and wrap, wrap his hands around your neck and choke your ass out. Besides you getting help, you decide to take matters in your own hand, making a damn shopping list on the phone with Chad besides letting Chad come on home and take care of the situation. Okay, sister girl. Ooh, payback is a B I T C H, and Abigail is out for the burning bed award. Go ahead, Abigail. I know y'all don't remember this movie that used to be on live time. It's called The Burning Bed. That's what Abigail recreating the burning bed, but on a thing different. That man was sleeping that moment when that woman burnt his ass up. This motherfucker tied up in the bed against his will for to be burnt up in the flames. Okay, now, Abigail, go ahead now. You will disappear. Point of me now, you might just win me back over again. Guilt trip, but it ain't happening. Just like you was called a hog, you a pathetic bastard. She finna be called with you and burn your ass alive now. It's amazing how those tables turn. Now you trying to throw a guilt trip on her, and that shit ain't working, honey. She immune to you. Well, Abigail, you finna go to prison for the rest of your life, then I'm, I guess. Unless you gonna fight, play crazy too, along with being to get off. So the episode ended with another guilt trip, and being telling Abigail, "You ain't, you can't kill another human. That's not like you." She said, "You not human," and lit the match, and that's where it went off. So hopefully the bed for the gonna burn, burn Monday, so we'll get to see that. Well, that was the episode. I see you soon for something, and have a good weekend.